been skateboarding since I was 10 and I'm 25 now. So I've seen a lot of skate parks get built. This is great because this is a new skate park. It's what we kind of call a street plaza type skate park. So it's unique in that sense. I myself started coming here four years ago when it first got built and I've skated for a long time. I've skated all the skate parks and this became my favorite skate park. Ali Cariel is an avid skateboarder and is teaching the kids in his center how to skateboard. In March, Richmond has uh, Teen Tech Week, and that's the second week of March. So Angela works for the library and is in charge of the teen activities that go on at the library. So Angela came up with this great idea to mix up science and mix it in with skateboarding. Brandon! Brandon! Brandon, Brandon ticket number 1545739. Uh, this event was put together um, as a concept that I came up with with something that the American Library Association has every year. And as part of technology, there's a lot of science programs that you see involved with kids now. Skateboarders jump, grind, slide, spin, and use a lot of science, and they don't even know it. And a lot of times kids don't find science exciting, but what they don't realize is if they're a skateboarder, they're a scientist already, and they're already doing physics. And so we had the Exploratorium Band as one of the people that's also involved in this event, bring their interactive band out so the kids can get on and see the principles of what allows them to do skateboarding and do some of the tricks that they want to do well. Basically, the Exploratorium created this skateboard park that is mobile, and it basically explains the science of skateboarding. Most skateboarders don't really think about it too often, but they're all scientists in one way or another. They all use gravity and force and, and energy to create and to, you know, devise their, their skateboard moves and to, and to do really cool stuff. Uh, my name is David Meza. I'm shooting for Richmond Pulse, uh, local newspaper. Uh, just shooting the event, uh, making sure it gets notoriety that the library's been putting it on, uh, about Nickel Park. Basically, we actually cover more of the positive things that are happening in Richmond because it doesn't get it out enough. Um, all the good stuff that happens in Richmond, uh, a lot of other newspapers press on all the bad things, all the negative, and emphasize on the negative. And we try to emphasize on the positive and show, highlight all the nonprofits and organizations and community events. Um, Especially all the special things that happen in Richmond, you know, people don't really know about it because, you know, no one covers it. If it's not like a homicide or, you know, something crazy, no one ever covers it. So we try to especially go out there to cover all the good stuff. The first thing you notice about working with Angela is that she's somebody who truly cares about what is going on with these kids around here. And, you know, this kind of a resource for kids is invaluable. In this neighborhood, it's, it's fantastic. So Angela came up with this great concept and got the Exploratorium to come down here and give a demonstration of how skateboards actually work, how when people are doing the cool jumps, the cool grinds and moves, what the science and what's actually going on. And once they understand those principles and they understand that science, their skateboarding will be a lot more competitive. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful community event, man. There's a lot of kids coming out. They're really excited that it's happening. You know, people are really positive. You know, just getting, getting the youth together is really good. Okay, so we're going to have another raffle um, in about 20 minutes. I've watched the city of Richmond, I've watched as this skateboard park got built, I've watched a lot of these kids who didn't know anything about skateboarding come here, get into skateboarding, and I've seen some of these kids get so good 
solely based off this place. And not only are they getting so good, but they're engaged. You know, they're passionate about what they're doing. They're here, they're skateboarding, they're into their skateboard. They're not out in, in the streets getting into, you know, anything that's negative. The thing about these kids, a lot of them don't want to, you know, they're independent. They don't want to, you know, be part of sporting teams sometimes. Sometimes they want to do their own thing. And you look around here and see these kids, they're all highly self-motivated. They don't need coaches to tell them to go out and work hard. They do it on their own. And that's pretty unique when it comes to skateboarding. There's not a lot of sports that you can do, a lot of athletic endeavors you can, you can go for where it's just you and you have to do it all yourself. And that's why it's so creative. That's why skaters are usually pretty independent. And uh, it's a pretty great art form for everybody. Well, I've been taking a lot of really like uh, dark, uh, dark shadows, you know, really uh, fast exposures, like 400, 400, uh, four thousandth of a second. Um, get that crisp action shot, uh, really clean. Um, it's been really cool taking pictures of people just, you know, trying to do the tricks and the actual raw emotion of like how much it means to them to actually complete a trick and you know, attempting it so many times. Um, and I just like capturing that in one moment. Pause this. We'll do the raffle. Um, and if they're not done, then we'll continue with that thing after. <laughs> One of the things that I really liked about today's event is that they allowed the youth that was already here to take over sections of the event. Um, in the background, one of the youth is actually made their own little tournament here. Um, on their own, putting it all together, organizing it, and get it all on the fly. Um, they let you take over like the little booth, and they give out flyers, and give out stickers, and right talk to you, other youth about stuff, and getting them excited about things. Um, and that's one really important thing, is the power of the youth to do it themselves, because it's not that everyone has to do it for them, because they already know what they want. And they're just giving it to what they, they already know what they want, so they can give it to everybody else. of these kids they're here and they're using skateboarding as a positive outlet to express themselves and that to me is the coolest thing that I've seen and the biggest impact that this place and the city of Richmond has done for skateboarders and the skateboard community. I think this event for young people is very important for one thing it opens up their eyes to the fact that they really do like science that they can meet kids from other neighborhoods and interact with them and build other kinds of alliances and that they see that there's things here in the city that we have to offer to them that don't cost them a thing and that there's a park that they can come on the weekend, after school, something that they can do that they would enjoy. <laughs> 